I've gotten a lot of requests lately to do a video about how to be more predictable with endodontic access. Well, I'm going to share with you today a technique that I use to make sure that I'm as predictable as possible anytime it comes to any endodontic access preparation. I'm Bill Nudera, and welcome to my channel dedicated to clinical endodontic education. Iatrogenic errors are a part of everybody's practice, and they're unavoidable. The goal is to minimize the amount of times you have these issues and to learn from them so you prevent them from happening in the future. A simple technique that you can use during root canal access treatment planning is to use something I refer to as target vertical depths. A target vertical depth is an estimate that could be made from the bite wing radiograph or cone beam CT volume. And if you're using cone beam CT, the estimated depth you achieve is going to be more accurate than a bite wing radiograph, but if all you have to work with is a bite wing, that'll work too. I use the distance measuring tool that's embedded in my digital software, and I make two measurements. I make a measurement of the distance from the occlusal surface to the roof of the pulp chamber, and the second measurement is the distance from the occlusal surface to the level of the furcation. The latter is really only used for molar teeth. I have these predetermined depths available, and it's critical because if I reach my target vertical depth during my access preparation and I don't see what I expect to see, I'm in the wrong place. That clues me to stop, look, and redirect as necessary. And I'm always certain to avoid that target depth to perforation. Now this information is only valid when we understand how deep we are as we're making the access. For this reason, I typically use the same burr for access preparation in every tooth if I can. And my favorite burr to access with is a 557 crosscut Fisher burr. Why? Because I understand the dimensions of that burr extremely well. Now, I don't care what burr you use to access with, you use your favorite burr, but you have to understand the dimensions of the burr that you're using. I know on that 557 crosscut Fisher burr that those cutting flutes equate to four millimeters. I also know that as I reach that beveled portion and the shank parallels out, that's seven millimeters. These are fixed dimensions and they act as a depth gauge for me during my root canal access preparation. This information coupled with my target estimated depths allows me to stay on track and avoid perforation. In the event that my target vertical depth exceeds seven millimeters, I then move to a surgical length 557 crosscut Fisher burr because the dimensions on that burr are identical. It just is longer to allow me greater depth of reach. But as this burr parallels out, we have no more marks for gauging depth. So in order to gauge depth on deep accesses, what I can do is measure this 557 crosscut surgical length burr and mark it with an indelible marker at the level of my target vertical depth. This allows me a great visual gauge during the access preparation so that I always understand how deep I am with respect to where that pulp chamber is. Now it's up to you to maintain proper orientation but the likelihood of you perforating during the access preparation with this information can be significantly decreased. Well, I hope this has helped you understand access preparation just a little bit more and how I approach it. And I hope you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all of my future videos. I'm Bill Nudera. Thanks for watching.